When Jean's power bills tripled, she knew something wasn't right, but she had no idea the culprit was next door. People stolen my power and I'll have to bear the costs. You've crossed your wires with unit number one. Oh, no, 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 no. That's very scary. Yeah, it is. It's not fair. It's Tom and Jean in Unit 1, V. Merlita Rodriguez and Energy Australia in Unit 2. Quite clearly somebody else's mains and they've just tapped straight into it. Unit number one has been paying for your electricity. When I see these photos... Jean uh, has been living in the same apartment I... at Sydney's Dulwich Hill since the year 2000. And she says she pays about $200 a quarter for her electricity. But in May 2017, a bill suddenly went up. That's illegal. That first bill went up to $488. And then the next bill went up to $704. That's the email. Jean says she contacted Energy Australia. They checked her meter and told her it was functioning normally. So she paid her bills, but they kept on climbing. Tom and Jean are a couple but live separately. They have similar size apartments and both live alone. In July 2016, Jean received a bill for $221.08. Tom's bill was almost identical, $222.36. In July 2017, Jean's bill was $704 and Tom's was $230. And in July 2018, Jean was billed $870, while Tom's stayed more or less the same at $221.85. Over a period of two years, Jean contacted Energy Australia and the Ombudsman countless times. But nobody could get to the bottom of why Jean was paying so much for her electricity. That was until Jean called out not one, but two independent electricians who both found an intermixture of supply. Unit 2 was taking power from Jean and Jean was paying for it. A written report by the independent electrician found that Unit 2 is drawing power from Unit 1 meter and not being charged. The wiring is the cause of the excessive bills. A second independent electrician and Osgrid confirmed this. People are just not honest, it's like a thief. The police calculated that Unit 2 has stolen uh, approximately $3,600 from Jean and she's also spent $1,190 on electricians. Straight off you can see burn marks coming through the whole back of the board and then what looks like a dangerous connection straight into somebody else's mains. Uh, and you can already see that because of the load on both the apartments drawing the more than 32 amps, I'd say, what the cable's meant to be taking, it's already started burning the cable. So what's been done is just completely illegal. Pat Goodacre from E4 Electrical Group says whoever is responsible knew exactly what they were doing. They have directly just cut and splice straight into it and then put some tape behind the board so no one would notice. Mm -hmm. Just how dangerous is this? Because to me it looks like a fire hazard. It is 100%. Jean says Merlita, the owner of unit number two, has been avoiding her in the hallway since the cross wires came to light. So we paid her a visit. We, believe, we have reason to believe that you've intentionally crossed your wires oh, no. with unit number one no, 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 and they know. have been paying for your electricity. I don't know all about that. Where, where is that? Well, somebody has seen, done this. i never seen that like that before in my life. You are the owner of unit number two? Yes, 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 yeah. yes, yes. Merlita claims to know nothing about the crossed wires. I, I, I'm struggling to believe you because I'm sure that you would have noticed that your electricity bills have dropped dramatically. I asked someone to fix it for me because Who I did don't you know. ask to fix? My... Uh, a friend of mine. A friend, so you asked your, a friend of yours to do this for oh, you? Oh no, no, no. You can just ask my friend who is fixing my uh, my electricity. Who's your friend? Uh, the name is Edgar. Mm -hmm. It's not really a very close friend. Merlita passes the bark yeah, on I, to I, her not-so-close friend, the mysterious I'm Edgar. Uh, I'm very old for that, to, to do such uh, a foolish things. Mm. I'm, Despite I'm, the clear I'm, evidence, I'm, Energy Australia won't budge, telling Jean she must pay up. At one point, Ewan 
yeah. sent an email to Jean saying that if she didn't pay the full amount, Energy Australia would begin uh, a suit against her, the debt recovery, yeah. and that they would cut off her electricity. Now that is like a threat to someone who's been the victim of theft. That so, was but, until a current affair got involved. Look, the first thing I have to say is sorry. We stuffed up here and we've said sorry to Jean. Mark Collette is customer executive at Energy Australia. We have waived the bill, we've paid to the electrician who came and solved the problem and we've given her a credit for a year's worth of electricity. Tom, what exactly did you see when you first walked in here? Uh, well, it was not this, it was very, very old. It the was... wiring has since been removed and the building's electrical work has been replaced. A current affair, you did help us to listen and did help us to move faster than uh, we were currently moving. Who is responsible for, these, for this wiring? Know. I really don't know. Well, it's a good outcome for Jean, but it shouldn't have taken two years to fix. New South Wales Police is investigating and we will let you know what happens.